Hi, I'm Jenna Byrne. Welcome to a, another 10 minutes of trusting video where I use mixed media art journaling to pray and listen to God. So I'm starting off my journaling with flicking through some magazines in search of images that just connect with me. So I'm I'm kind of praying gently as I do this and pulling out anything that catches my eye. I have in the back of my mind the idea that I would like to pray for fruitfulness today um, for myself, um, I guess specifically. And I think that's influenced some of the images that I have chosen. I've got this lady who's covered in beautiful blooms. I've got some pictures of fruit and fruit picking um, and these eggs that symbolize new life. And I was also drawn to this picture of people eating together in the sunshine. And so now I'm trying to arrange them on the page. Um, this is my little journal, but I'm feeling like uh, then kind of squished on and there isn't really room for them on this page, this size of journal. And that in itself is speaking to me um, that maybe sometimes we get kind of pot bound in our current situation, our current circumstances. And perhaps we need to change things up a little to give ourselves room to grow. And so I've moved to my bigger A4 journal here and I'm trying to find a blank page um, of which there aren't many. <laughs> so um, I'm having to use a page that I've already done a background on. So this page has got a couple of layers on it already. It's got some leftover paint, which I think I then gessoed over and then these little flowers which i just did by dipping a flat brush and kind of twirling it to make these petals i had some sweet peas and poppies in a vase and so i was trying to imitate uh, the looseness of the petals on the flowers um, that was a week or so ago and i've also got some coffee dripped on this page but these flowers seem to already match uh, what this lady is wearing and it seems to be a good home for her so I think um, I'm going to go for that and stick them down on this page and that's true often I think of where God leads us in life isn't it that he has already prepared a place for us um, that is right. I don't know if you've um, ever been looking for a church in a new area or um, whatever that might be, a job or a house or um, any sort of relocating, might not even be physical relocating, but just might be a change in, in what you're doing. Um, but God goes ahead of us and he prepares a way for us just like um, he went ahead of the Israelites in, with Moses in the desert. Um, he goes ahead of us and he knows what's best for us. So I'm adding some, well, just some white pa paint to this page with a brayer, um, which is like a little roller. So I'm just doing this to clear some space for the images and I'm watching myself do that and think actually sometimes we need to clear some space in our lives don't we if we want to be fruitful we can't be rushing around like crazy things we need to take time to prioritize to stop doing some things perhaps so that we can make space for other things to grow in our lives and invest in other things in our lives so you can see how um, I'm really able to reflect on what God wants to say about fruitfulness, not just from the finished art, but from the art making process itself. 
And as I was painting over those flowers, as beautiful as they were, I was thinking about what Jesus said when he said, consider the lilies and that they're here today and gone tomorrow. And uh, that's even true of us, isn't it? In Ecclesiastes, it, it talks about us being just like a, a vapour. And that's even more reason for us to... Uh, be intentional about our time and our resources and what we invest them in if we want to be fruitful. 2 Corinthians 9 verses 6 to 8 says this, Remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. So I'm praying this for myself as I'm creating this page. I'm praying it for my church, which is um, in my mind represented by these guys sat down and eating together. Uh, that actually fruitfulness isn't something that we do alone. It's something that we do in community as the family of God. And I'm also praying this for you guys as well who are listening, that you would remain in Jesus and that you would see uh, the fruit that he can produce in you, that he can enable you to abound in every good work, that those hopes and dreams that you have that are from him and in him, that he can bless those abundantly um, and that you have everything you need for that fruitfulness. If you think about an egg, it contains everything that the little chick needs to grow until it's ready to hatch. And the same is true of a seed and of us, because we have the deposit of the Holy Spirit in us. We have all that we need, all that potential deposited in us to bear the fruit that uh, God has ordained for us to do. And not only that, but his presence is with us continually. So. Um, he will water that seed and uh, give that seed, seed the warmth and uh, everything that it needs in order to grow big and strong. But that takes a little time, doesn't it? And I'm just adding a orange squiggle here that goes all the way around the page in a kind of loopy journey. And I was thinking that fruitfulness, we, I've, I feel quite impatient uh, to see fruitfulness in my life in a couple of areas and um, just felt that, that if you look at the natural process of an apple uh, developing, it takes a whole year, doesn't it? Um, it? You know, the wood, even the type of wood on which that fruit will hang has to ripen um, and then of course we have the bird we have the flower uh, we have the flower diminishing something beautiful giving way um, in order that the fruit can grow and there's a whole process of ripening so that fruit is ready and so we shouldn't beat ourselves up, guys, um, if we see ourselves as only part way on that journey, because God promises to bring our good works to fruition. Philippians 1 verse 6 says, 
Therefore, I am confident of this very thing that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Christ Jesus. Amen. And Galatians 6 verse 8 to 9. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. So don't give up, brothers and sisters. Keep keep going. Keep putting one foot in front of another. I feel like that's something God's saying to me at the moment. Just keep putting one foot in front of another. And eventually you will see the fruit that you long to see. So... I've run out of time, so I felt like I should finish by adding some words to my page. And these were the words that I felt God had put on my heart, which was journey with me into fruitfulness. So thank you so much for stopping by and watching me create this journal page. I hope it's blessed you and encouraged you to have a go yourself. Get out some magazines, flick through, see what images speak to you. I'd love it if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'd love it even more almost if you could share this video with someone that you know who maybe they enjoy a bit of craft and a creativity and might enjoy exploring a new way of connecting with God. So if somebody springs to mind, um, why not forward this video to them and see what they think. Okay, bye for now.